If I did these, this, and all this, would you do 300? Uh, Where's this from, you know? It's a different language. Probably do 225. 225? I wouldn't even think twice at two. I could not be more shocked or more excited about what I was able to find. Bloggy Fritz. Yeah. Oh, very good. I've watched you every <laughs> Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, Marvin. What's your name, man? Uh, Marvin. Marvin, nice to meet you, man. We have enough stuff here for you to flip and move. Cool. I love it. <laughs> Keep looking. There's Will do. Nice. Uh, no. The 30 is I've done something different. Yeah. Every comic for Christmas is half price. Every comic's half price. Yeah. Okay. Cool. You don't have any pre-code horror or anything, do you? Um, I don't think there's any pre-code, but there's some early horror. Is there? Okay. Yeah, there's a box that's horror, romance, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, I don't remember what all's left in there. Right on. Quite a bit of horror. I bet it's, I bet it's after the code, but I'm thinking the earliest I'd have is 1960s. Yeah, there's early stuff though, isn't there? That's cool. There's some Phantom Strangers from the 70s. I don't know if they're in that box or the DC box. Okay. <laughs> it, it's just, I it gets confusing more, after a while, yeah. I brought a lot more stuff up this time. I thought I'd have, give some collectors the real Christmas miracle. Awesome. Uh, you know, I've got... All right, I'm gonna grab this one and I'll probably come back around and try to grab some Phantom Strangers in a bit. So. Nice man. 30 yeah, bucks? The first time, yeah. I think you should probably, if you looked it up right now, they're going in the 75 to 100 in that condition. Yeah. No, that's cool, man. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad to. Awesome. I'll be back around. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. There's $7 choice. Oh, okay. Like Thomas, I think, right? You gotta get them graded before you get them. Between an airplane, Would you make a deal on a stack of them? <laughs> okay. Double check them. I think I have uh, 14. I'm okay. 80 bucks. 80. 20, 40, 60. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going, man? Is the Optimus Prime for sale? Yeah, it's 120. It's the bloated version. I got all the weapons. It's missing the hose and the hose reel. Okay. So, well, you probably know what the bloated is, don't you? Um, I remember there's a difference between. Yeah, them. it's got the metal plates and there's got the, the holes. The very first one they very came out was the pre rub that had the metal plates in there. Uh huh. Yeah. A little bit later, I mean, as soon as they made the other ones, they didn't have the holes in it. Okay. The, car, the car's gray, and all the weapons are like bloated. Right. I mean, honestly. Okay. And how much on the constructor cones? Uh, probably do a hundred. I mean, I've got all the cards and the little things here. My, uh, there's a ten bucks a piece for those. This actually off the shockwave. It's okay. a little rubber part. Uh, so, so it's a hundred for this whole thing. So 100 for all these and now them are ten dollars okay i have to do try to do 100 all in that same cross that thing looks pretty good yeah what do you have on these 100 for all of them okay. that's pretty cool I do. <laughs> yeah i mean that's probably 
If I did these, this, and all this, would you do 300? Uh, I think it's only 20 plus yeah, those tens yeah, off. Yeah, cool? Yeah, awesome, man. What's this little guy? This little Castle uh, Grace Yeah, ball. the pencil sharpener. Oh, okay. Is that what it is? Yeah. Alright, how much is that? Just out of curiosity. Uh, 20 bucks. 20. I should, but I won't. Should have threw it in there with you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I Spoke too soon. Yeah. Would you throw it in for 310? Yeah. Cool. Double count that. I used to do toys all the time, man. I got out of them, and I, I sold all my Star Wars gear. I had every one of them. I mean, the double life saver. I had a bunch of people from like Louisiana come up here. I, man, they paid like five dollars. Jeez. <laughs> and, I mean, they were so hot, right? And then I just had a, I had to get rid of them. My kids don't want all that crap. Yeah. I've had them twice. The first time I sold them, only got like seven hundred fifty bucks. Got all the figures in the Oh wow. That just tells you the difference. What's the second time I had a bunch of stuff still in the box? Yeah. It's going crazy again. I just picked oh, up a yeah. blue snaggle tooth the other day. Yeah, I, I picked one of those up and uh, there was a little. Uh, this is pretty cool. I, this case is like from a newer thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen this case before, you just like with the newer transformer. Yeah. You have, like I said, this is all shockwave. Oh, okay. The, cool, man. This is uh, yeah, I picked them up and bought a bunch of them. Uh, this whole case, the whole man had a gang load of weapons in there too. That's, yeah. pretty That's the dream right there. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> awesome, man. Thanks so much, bud. Oh, sweet. Cool, dude. Appreciate you. Fifteen a box. Are these micro machines? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Morning. Five dollars. Oh, okay. That's a deal for a Shira. And I remember these. Those are the McDonald's. I remember getting these in Happy Meals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're pretty cute. <laughs> uh, I like that on them, so I'd take the dollar off. Uh, I think they're eight a piece. Yeah, eight. I'll take seven. Okay. Let me think about those. I'm, I'm going to grab the Shira, though. Let me see what's on this okay. side real fast. I need the number off. Oh, there you go. I'll just hand it to you. $65.99. How you guys just want it? Five. Right on. Well, that'll help. Should work out good. Thank you so much. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good. How are you? All right. Y'all having fun today? So far. Good. <laughs> Dropping these off real quick. Found some cool stuff. Can't wait to look through this. There's another building that has more vendors. Might be a separate show, but it's like card and, uh, cards and collectibles. So we'll go check that out real quick too. One. Okay. Okay, 30 bucks. I'll think about that. So I produced the barber beefcake over there. What is that? Oh, this looks like a fun goose. And nice paper dolls. Morning. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.
So okay if I pick these up, I don't want to yeah. assume. I'll be careful. Yes, the ones from the early 90s. Where's this from, you know? Uh, it's a different language, is that? No. That Official. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm not sure. I don't know if you knew. No biggie. It's still cool. Yeah. France. And think about this for a second. Thank you. Uh, do you have any room on this guy at all? How much we have on that? It says 250. 250? Yeah. I'll tell you, that's a hard one to get. Yeah. Uh, we could probably do 225. 225? Wouldn't do two? <laughs> I wouldn't even think twice at two. I'd just give it to you and walk away. We'll do two. Good? Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you. All right. Thank you. No, nah, I'm good. I'll carry it. Thank you. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Good deal today. See anything that catches your eye? Yeah. Guaranteed under eBay prices. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I've got too many. Right on. Yeah, those are priced high. That's not the real price. Though. Okay. That's a, that's a set of one through four. Uh huh. You get all four. They're all signed and sketched. It's a short, you know, like a, little, a limited run, like a little four run. Uh huh. And I'm doing 150 on all four. That's about what the first one sold for last. Oh, okay. Uh, what are you doing on uh, Moon Knight? Moon Knight? I think he sold for like 60, so I'll do 50, but I, you, have to double, you can double check comps. Okay. And same with She Hulk, she's worth about 50. Even raw beat up, she's worth 50, so. She's probably worth more if you crack it up and sell it raw. <laughs> yeah, probably. And then this right here is, uh, that's Marker. That's done by uh, Chris Corbin. He started off as a, just with Deadpool on it, as a mic cover. Oh, cool. And then. And then, uh, what'd you say, like 50 a piece on these? Yep. Same with this one. 50. The last sold comp on that was, I think, 50. I'll do that for 25. Okay. Kind of like a show special, you know. <laughs> 150, 50, 25, so 225. Would you do 200 for those? I sure will. Okay. Deal. That works for me, man. 51. 51, 52. Wait. Thanks, bro. If you want anything else, I'll give you a good deal, too. Okay. Appreciate you. Do 125 with me. I'll think about those. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Awesome, man. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, so we have made it back to the garage. Let me start by saying, here in my neck of the woods, we are certainly not known for our flea markets. So when I saw a flea market being advertised in December, I almost skipped it entirely. But to that end, I could not be more shocked or more excited about what I was able to find. So real quick, let's take a look at all of it. All right, so we got everything spread out here. And let me just start by saying that there is a certain caliber of collectible that really gives me kind of an undefinable satisfaction when I find it in an unexpected place. So looking at this haul just kind of gives me those picking butterflies because I did not expect to find this type of stuff at this flea market. We'll just start over here. Picked up a little She-Ra action figure for five bucks. If you buy as many Motu lots as I do, you're bound to end up with some She-Ra accessories. So when they're cheap enough, I pick them up because when you complete them, they can definitely be some sought after little pieces. Got some comic books here. This one, the uh, Marvel What If number one, What If Spider-Man joined Fantastic Four. It was originally marked at 60 bucks. It was half off for 30. It's in really nice shape, so that's a good thing. Definitely not a high-end book, but I've seen that guy at several shows throughout the last year. Always try to buy something from him. Super nice guy. And then here we have a stack of 14 different comics. Originally priced at seven bucks a piece. Did a bundle deal, got him for just a little over five a piece, which is pretty much where my comfort level was. Got this one here because it seems like a good time to pick up Battlestar Galactica number one. I believe there 
they're working on a movie for that. The rest of these are all like Silver Age and Golden Age comics. And as long as they're in decent shape, I will always pay five or six bucks for a Silver or Golden Age comic because the upside potential definitely outweighs the little bit that you could possibly lose. So there's nothing super valuable on here, but the condition is pretty decent, all things considered, for most of the books. A lot of these I'll probably be able to ask 10 or 15 bucks a piece on. We have Jimmy Olsen, number 87, Green Lantern, 37, Anthro, number four, Anthro, number five, Fighting Forces, 113, Whack, number three, Adventures of the Jaguar, House of Mystery, 177, uh, Nioka or Nioka, the Jungle Girl, number 17, Superboy, number 103, Dick Tracy, 71, Action Comics, number 368, and Superboy, number 101. This one does have some writing on the cover. But like I said, I will pick up a stack like that anytime. This small stack of comics here is a completely different story. This type of buy almost perfectly embodies one of the main reasons why I'm so excited about doing my primary dealings outside of e-commerce. If you had spent $200 on this stack of comics here to only sell on eBay or to only sell online, you would pretty much instantly lose money. The guy was very upfront about their values. In my opinion, he was pretty spot on. However, when you have an iconic cover like Moon Knight number one encapsulated in a CGC shell, that's bound to catch somebody's eye. The same with uh, Savage She-Hawk number one. Only graded a 4.0, so it's nowhere near what you would consider a heavy hitter, but it's iconic enough that it's gonna catch somebody's eye. It's gonna get them looking at other stuff. It can be used as trade fodder. It can be used to sweeten a deal. In my opinion, it just speaks more to the psychology of buying and selling and collecting and kind of goes beyond just making sure everything has 3x, 4x, 5x margins. So I was certainly just fine paying 200 for this entire stack. I think they'll look great in a display next to the other higher end comics that I'll be offering up. And I'm very happy with this deal. Now here is probably the most shocking thing I saw all day. Rare is a very strong word, but I would say hard to find, especially in this condition. This is the Inhumanoids Tendril. Inhumanoids was a very cool line back in the mid 80s, made by Hasbro. The action figures were pretty cool, but the monsters are where they really shined. If you hold a flashlight at the top, it does this cool little shining effect. A lot of times you'll find him with these broken off or missing his arm or missing one of his two tails. This one is super clean, super nice, super vibrant. I think they actually made two versions of this figure. Originally these were much more elongated and they would break off really easily. Eventually they shortened them so they'd be a little bit stronger. Still you'll find them broken off. I was very excited to find one in such nice complete condition. It was marked at 250 bucks which is pretty fair. If you're buying one online it could range anywhere from $200 on up to $300. I paid 200 for this one because that is definitely going to catch someone's eye. Someone is going to know what that is from across the room. It's going to make them rush right over. I'm going to have it priced around 300, which certainly aren't huge margins, but I would rather make a little bit on something so cool like this uh, rather than make zero on nothing. So that's just kind of how I look at things. And then we have this lot right here. From a bargain standpoint, this was definitely the buy of the day. This guy brought the good stuff. He priced it well and he was ready to deal. I just happened to be lucky enough to be the guy that pounced on it. I spent $310 total for all this stuff. Let me give you a quick breakdown about what we have here. First, we have the G1 Optimus Prime. This is the bloated version. Bloated version refers to the shape of his fist here. Very nice condition, very clean. It's got the stickers, no big scratches or anything. Everything's nice and tight. Different versions had slightly different accessories. This one, unfortunately, is not complete, but it's pretty close. It has the gray roller, both of his fists, which are actually a big deal. It is missing one missile, it's missing the hose, and it's missing the nozzle. The nozzle, unfortunately, on the bloated version is the most expensive part. Normally, I'm the guy that likes to complete something cool like this this just so I'm able to offer up a nice complete collectible. I don't think it's cost effective to do that here. The bloated version of the nozzle a lot of times is about $80 and I don't think that it would add that much value to this actual piece unless I had an original box. That would change everything but then that's a whole other story. The way it sits now with all the pieces it does have I think this is probably at least $150. It gives someone a really good starting point to be able to complete one over time at less of a cost and honestly who doesn't love Optimus Prime. He actually threw in the G1 sludge and this is very nice too. It does not have accessories but his chin is complete and he's not missing any parts on the actual robot or the dinosaur. In this condition I should be able to price this at about 40 bucks I think. Got the cool little Castle Grayskull pencil sharpener. These little vintage Motu extras always surprise me. Should be able to ask about 25, 30, 35 bucks for this thing right here. Inside this case there was actually a complete G1 ram horn and a complete G1 steel jaw. Should be able to ask around 20 to 30 bucks on the steel jaw and probably 30 to 40 bucks on the ram horn. 
This was actually pretty crazy. I did not expect this to be complete, but what we have here are all six of the original G1 constructed comm vehicles, and they are nice, nice, nice. You can often tell because the hook actually has the original hook on it. That's one of those things that gets lost over time. All the stickers are intact. There's no play wear. They have all their original tech spec cards, and best of all, they have every one of the original accessories. This is a lot of stuff that could have gotten lost over the last 35, 40 years, and it is all right here together. A nice, complete G1 constructed comm set like this without box I should be able to price this somewhere between two and three hundred dollars with a nice box it would be even more but this is a really great set right here and then probably the part I was most excited about are these muscle figures everyone knows I love Mattel muscle figures I always talk about buying bags of them hoping to get something hard to find or rare well this was not a big bag and it did involve paying up a little bit but we finally have something pretty hard to find this one right here the muscle Satan cross is probably the one that most people know about as being hard to find this little one inch piece of rubber or plastic here I should be able to price this thing at about hundred and fifty dollars which is pretty crazy but this is a great piece and I'm so excited to have finally found one and then these claws they made in several different colors I believe the purple one is the most rare and the most valuable this is the dark blue I should be able to ask around seventy five dollars just on this little guy here and then even the flesh colored version the one with the least rarity I should be able to ask around twenty five to thirty five bucks on that so when you consider that I paid three hundred and ten dollars for this entire lot that was a slam dunk deal of the day super Super cool. That is all I got for you this time. As always, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Love ya. Bye. When they hear that cha ching and they all look at me, I guess they'll know why I'm buying this crap.